Oh, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you're doing really well. Thanks so much for being here and clicking on this video. We've got a massive Monday vlog ahead for you guys. We're going to do the Monday sales first and foremost. It is actually Tuesday, but we're doing what took place on Monday today. I've had seven sales come through, $338 in revenue. When you take out the fees of the post, guys, it was $168 worth of a profit yesterday. So I'm just left home. I'm going to shoot back to mum and dad's place. I'm going to look out the sales that sold and uh, I won't be doing the post today, but at least I can show you what did sell. And uh, there are a few other things that we need to get done today that will make for a very entertaining vlog. So hopefully you enjoy it. Sit back, relax. Let's get into it. I'll see you back at home and I'll show you what sold. You guys may have remembered a few weeks ago, I was in a flea market and I managed to find Shaquille O'Neal here in the Orlando Magic jersey. So this was a really cool vintage item, 1993 uh, embroidered there on the leg. Mono Mine is the company of the toy. Um, it was meant to be on a stage. As you can see there, there's a little hole in there for the stage, but I just sold it as is. Uh, I didn't have that. Managed to get a $30 sale price on this thing. So shouldn't be too much to, uh, to ship him off. I'll just put him into a padded mailer. Uh, and get him out the door, but five into 30, I might make myself about 15 bucks with this one. This next one was just a bit of a see it and grab it sort of a thing. I was in the op shop and I saw this Valentino Rossi Yamaha. We've got the YZR M1 World Championship 2013. These little model toys actually go up pretty well on eBay. So this was Leo Models, as you can see, uh, in mint condition. Bought it for $2 in a trip to the thrift a few weeks ago, and this thing has gone on to sell for $33, guys. So again, I'll wrap this one up with some bubble wrap. Uh, might put it into a box just to protect it a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, should make myself a good $15 profit on this one as well. Now, the next three sales come out of the same category. We've had three hats sell overnight. So the first one that I've got for you here is the Bunnings trade hat. Now, if you guys don't know about the Bunnings game, definitely have a look into it. Just check some comps. If you ever see any of this stuff lying around the, uh, the op shops, definitely go ahead and pick it up. Um, this one's actually a youth size. So we've got the, um, the wording there. When I grow up, I want to be a tradie. Um, a very small hat uh, in light new condition. It sold for $30, guys, and I bought it for about 3 or $4 in the op shop. So very, very simple, easy to ship. There won't be any concerns there about trying to protect the brim or anything like that. Um, these ones, though, were also pretty cool, too. We've got the Callaway Golf hat. Now, guys, when we look at the hats and we talk about golf, Callaway is one of the absolute best brands to be finding. Now, this one is in epic condition. Um, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, genuine Callaway hat as well. The way I can tell that it's genuine is just the tag that you've got on the inside right there. Um, this one's gone on to sell for 30 bucks as well. So 30 bucks on that one. Uh, I'll put that one into a small box. I'm only ever paying $7.50 with my Australia Post My Business. I get a lot of questions. How do you sell hats in the sense of your shipping? Um, and that's exactly how I do it. Always into a small box. Uh, never had an issue with it. And uh, the other one as well was an international sale of the Waratahs in the Rugby Union. Um, so this one here, brand new with tags. I bought a bundle of these in an op shop for $5 each. Um, this one's actually gone on to sell for $20 plus $30 worth of international postage. So it um, should cost me about 25 bucks to send this one off to the UK. Again, just going into a small box and uh, I should make myself around about a $15 profit on this one here. So guys, three hats selling overnight. I am definitely spending a bit more time picking these things up when I'm in the op shops because they are definitely converting for me on eBay. Now, you guys know I've got a lot of DVDs to try and sell. There's quite a whole lot in my collection here, but fortunately overnight, we've had two absolute rippers sell. So the first one that I wanted to take you through is this one here, McLeod's Daughters. Seasons one to six here. It's not even a complete series. However, I was able to sell this guy for $100 on eBay overnight. Just an incredible sale, guys. If you can find anything McLeod's Daughters, you're generally going to do well. Sell through right there, probably about a month to get the job done there. And then I've also got Leno and Woodley here. This is an absolute bolo for you guys to be holding out for. Uh, if you can see it, definitely grab it when you're in the thrift. You'll only pay a couple of bucks. It's sold for $65. Can you believe that? A single DVD found in an off shop selling for 65 bucks on eBay. If you're not in the DVD game, get yourself in there because there was $165 right there overnight. So that's a pretty typical day for me on eBay, guys, at the minute. About 340 bucks, a little over 300 a day. Gets me to around that 30K, 90 day, which I like to try and sit around. So um, pretty cool to get those results yesterday. Hopefully they can come through again today. Um, I'm at Bunnings. I need to go and get some boxes for those hats. So I'll see you in a second.
Let's go to the thrift. Guys, you know I love my shoes, and this is the reason why. Because we find things like this, the Nike Hyperdunk 2013s, found in the thrift in excellent condition for just the $18. I'm happy to pay up slightly on these shoes because they are just in excellent condition. Hardly any wear on the soles, which is incredible for a pair of basketball shoes. Really excited with that grab. Also got the New Balance Numerics. Now, these are a US 8 size. Uh, they're a men's pair of shoes, a uh, $10 purchase price. Really, really cool little shoe here. I'm absolutely loving the Newies. I'm always buying the New Balance now, and they are selling pretty well for me. So one to definitely be on the lookout for. Hey, uh, Big Little Lies. This is a really good TV series, one and two here. Uh, Pre-owned condition goes for about 40 bucks. So always happy to commit to the $5 spend. Uh, the plush problems here, I found B2 hiding in the uh, the little teddy bear area here. Now, that if you can find B1 and B2, there's some pre-owned comps for about $45, if you can believe. So a $2 spend here, um, very happy for that. Now, I did a bit of searching. I found Jerry um, in there as well, and there was a, a little uh, Smurf in there, um, or Seven Dwarf, I should say, but um, couldn't find B1. But um, this was really the story of the thrift run, guys. I've been able to find this really, really nice, a bit of an Aztec-style furniture piece here. Now, I haven't typically done furniture before. Well, not in a long, long time, at least, anyway. Uh, but for $60, I'm gonna give this one a stab on Facebook Marketplace. Pretty cool, hey? Well, who would have thought, hey, back flipping furniture on Facebook Marketplace. Anyone that's recent to the channel, uh, for those OGs that have been around since the beginning, you would know that I kind of started out my flipping journey, flipping furniture, um, off Facebook Marketplace, on a Facebook Marketplace, and I was doing 100 bucks at a time for, from a profit perspective. So, you know, if you're just doing this part-time casually, I just think if you focus solely on furniture, even small items of furniture that you can throw in the boot of a sedan or something like that, you could tear it up and make a couple of hundred bucks every single week without a drama. The sell-through rate, two or three days to turn these things over. A very, very different game to eBay. And uh, I absolutely love doing it, but I've really kind of switched off from doing that. I actually bought this van to do furniture flipping as well. And then the minute I bought the van, I almost stopped flipping furniture. But um, look, regardless, I just saw it in the uh, at, the, at the checkout there just as I was leaving and I, I just had to grab it. It's a really unique sort of an item, that one as well. You don't typically see too much of that sort of a look, a bit of an Aztec sort of a feel. Um, and there'll be somebody out there that there'll be that one buyer that I'm gonna hang out for um, that wants to buy it for around that $200 price point. So I reckon there's about 150 bucks worth of profit right there. And, uh, and we also found those Nike Hyperdunks as well, the 2013s. I mean, they're gonna go for about 70 bucks every single time. Happy to pay the 18 there. So. My goodness, guys, we're only in there for about 35, 40 minutes, and we have come away with an absolute killing in the profit game, which is what it's all about. It's all about the profits, guys. That's what we're here for, and uh, we've come away with it. So let's get back home, clean it up, and, uh, and then sell it. So we just need some sugar soap. That's what I use for shoes, um, just a superpower side. But today we are doing furniture. So I need to find uh, sugar soap, this stuff. You only need a little bit of it. It's a heavy duty grease and grime cleaner. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that into some hot water, get this old rag and get scrubbing all the dust off the furniture. <laughs> Okay, so that's looking really good. The last step is the furniture polish. So I use this Oceda furniture polish. You don't need a whole lot of it, trust me, um, but it's really gonna make it pop. So I'm gonna rub a bit of that into the entirety of the unit and, uh, and then we'll take some photos. 
right, so all done. The listing is up, ready to go, and I think it looks pretty cool. The photos came up an absolute treat. That furniture polish really does change the game. So I was happy with the way the photos came out. The description is pretty minimal, to be honest with you. It's just writing in the measurements and just reiterating the title, basically. I think when it comes to Facebook Marketplace listings, the best thing to do is to nail your photos, get plenty of them, up to 10 if you can, and then go ahead and get a really good title um, allocated as well. So I used unique words like unique and stunning and um, really kind of tried to describe the item uh, in the title. So really, there's not a whole lot more to it once you've seen title and, and photos. So hopefully at 250 bucks, that can go on to sell. I do have some fantastic news though, guys. The minute I got back home, I did some listings as well of a few of the things that we bought today. And uh, these Nike Hyperdunks, well, believe it or not, they've actually sold within the space of just a couple of hours on eBay. We got a $65 sale price on these. So I was absolutely wrapped to get the turnaround there. Obviously, we bought them today for $18. Um, so you take out some postage, which might work out to be about $12 because they are a slightly larger shoe. Um, so say 12 bucks off your 65, that's about 55 odd dollars. Um, and then take out your fees. You're probably looking at about, uh, I don't know, I'd say maybe $30 worth of a profit on these shoes on the very same day that I purchased them. So I'm absolutely wrapped with that. Um, these shoes, Nikes, are always the best shoe to be buying when you're out there sourcing. And obviously quality is what gets you top dollar. And that's exactly what I think I've done there with those. Um, so that was really cool. A um, bit of a big episode there. There was a lot that was happening today. The furniture flip um, kind of just came out of nowhere. I didn't expect to be doing it. It was a bit unique in the sense of just seeing it in the op shop, seizing the opportunity, and hopefully that one can go on to sell and we can make ourselves, well, if it sells for $250, we will make ourselves $190 worth of profit, which would just be huge. That's an entire day on eBay for me at the moment. So um, appreciate you tuning in, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you've picked up in the op shops that's uh, been a bit unique, and it doesn't need to be this week. It can be at any time over the journey. What have you found that you didn't necessarily go in to get and you came away with just something really incredible. I'd be really love to uh, to hear that in the comments below. So drop that in there. Uh, remember to give the video a like as well. If you're into this kind of e-commerce flipping thing that I do on a daily basis here and call it a full-time job, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That'd be very much appreciated. We're a little over 5,300 subs. So things are slowly ticking away and slowly growing and I've got big aspirations for the channel. So be a part of the journey, jump on board. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you on Thursday for a trip to the thrift, my favorite day of the week. Look forward to catching you then. We'll see you soon.